before God created the world, there was no time, there was no before. What came before the Big Bang? And most astronomers would say nothing. Time, space, matter, they all began with a sudden explosion, what we call the Big Bang. In our solar system, the planets are kept in their orbits by a balance between the sun's gravity pulling them inward and their speed trying to move them outward. The farther a planet is from the sun, the slower it moves in its orbit, which keeps everything in balance. Scientists expect the same thing to happen with stars and galaxies. Stars closer to the center of a galaxy should move faster, while those farther away should move more slowly. However, when astronomers measure the speed of stars at the edges of galaxies, they find something surprising. The stars are moving much faster than they should be. Scientists believe that if stars are truly moving faster at the edges of galaxies, you might expect them to fly away into space, much like water flying off a spinning wheel. This is because the pull of gravity is much weaker at the outer edges of a galaxy. But surprisingly, the stars don't fly off. This unexpected speed suggests that there must be extra gravity at play, pulling on these stars to keep them in their fast orbits. Scientists find this mysterious force very strange because they aren't sure exactly what it is. It could be a new kind of matter, an unknown force, or something else entirely. Because of its mysterious nature, they decided to name it dark matter. This discovery provided the first strong evidence that dark matter exists in our universe. Similarly, there is another invisible thing, called dark energy, responsible for the accelerating expansion of space. Many observations have confirmed that our universe is actually dominated by these strange dark substances. Dark matter, which makes up about 27% of the universe, is thought to hold galaxies together, but no one has ever seen it directly. Dark energy, which makes up around 68% of the universe, seems to be causing the universe to expand at an accelerated rate. Together, these forces help explain the structure and evolution of the cosmos. Taking into account the key role of dark matter and dark energy in the formation of the first stars and galaxies, scientists developed standard cosmological models, which describe how the universe evolved after the Big Bang. According to this model, the universe began about 14 billion years ago with the Big Bang. After this, the universe entered a period known as the Dark Ages, a time when the whole universe was completely dark because it was filled with vast clouds of hydrogen gas. During this period, there were no stars or galaxies to light up the cosmos. Even if we had the most powerful telescope imaginable, we would not be able to see anything from beyond this time because the dense gas blocked all sources of early light. However, the James Webb Space Telescope has recently detected a mysterious bright glow coming from within these dark clouds. This unexpected discovery has sparked a major debate among scientists as it challenges our understanding of the universe's early history. According to what we know, no light should have been able to shine through the dense hydrogen clouds of the Dark Ages, making it impossible to see anything from that era. So, what could these strange lights be, and where are they coming from? Recently, researchers working on the JADES project, a large astronomical survey, detected the Lyman Alpha emission line from an object at a redshift of 13. To put it simply, this means we're seeing light from a time when the universe was only about 300 million years old, much earlier than we ever thought possible. Seeing the Lyman Alpha emission from this period is so surprising that many scientists thought it had to be an error. Lyman Alpha is produced when an electron in a hydrogen atom falls from the second lowest to the lowest energy level. In the early universe, after the Big Bang, almost all matter was hydrogen, which eventually came together to form stars and galaxies. When hydrogen gas gets heated up, such as by the energy of a young star, its electrons jump to higher energy levels. When these electrons fall back down to lower energy levels, they release energy in the form of light. This Lyman Alpha light is in the ultraviolet range, which is invisible to our eyes, but scientists can detect it with telescopes like the James Webb. Now, there's a twist. The recent discovery of Lyman Alpha light just 300 million years after the Big Bang has surprised astronomers around the world. 
It's because, according to our standard cosmological models, during this time, the universe was so opaque that light from stars and galaxies couldn't easily travel through it. Scientists have found a lot of evidence indicating that the furthest back we could see Lyman Alpha light was at a redshift of about 7, which was about 600 million years after the Big Bang. Even this was surprising, given how much of the fog of hydrogen gas should have blocked the light. And now, they have detected Lyman Alpha light at a redshift of 13, coming from a galaxy called Jade Z13. This is much farther back in time, around 300 million years after the Big Bang, and according to our current theories, this shouldn't be possible. One of the astronomers who discovered this galaxy recently tweeted his thoughts on social media, saying, Seeing the line at redshift 13 is insane. It's so shocking that when we saw it in our Jade's data, it almost took the focus away from our confirmation of Jade's GSZ-14 because it was so unprecedented. How is this light finding its way to us through the opaque universe? As we know, earlier astronomers discovered the most distant galaxy ever observed, named Jade's GSZ-14, located at a redshift value of 14. This means that we are seeing it as it existed 280 million years after the Big Bang. The discovery of this galaxy sparked a lot of debate because it has several hundred million times the mass of our Sun, which makes it incredibly bright, massive, and large for such an early time in the universe's history. Along with all this, scientists have also discovered some very strange galaxies beyond the Dark Ages. Scientists are suggesting that these objects, which look like galaxies, may be completely different from what we know. In 2023, astronomers Cosmin Ali, Gillian Paulin, and Catherine Free published the results of their infrared observations of the early universe using the James Webb Space Telescope, where they revealed that they uncovered three objects that could be mistaken for galaxies at first glance, but maybe dark stars. This discovery has brought the existence of mysterious dark stars into reality. So, what is a dark star? Well, the very first stars that formed, and this would have been 200 million years after the Big Bang, could have been very different from normal stars. Instead of being powered by fusion, they could have been powered by dark matter. At the center, there would have been a high dark matter concentration, with the dark matter particles annihilating each other. When they annihilate, whatever they annihilate into gets stuck inside the star. After this discovery of dark stars, some scientists are now suggesting that after the hot Big Bang, which created the universe as we know it, a separate dark Big Bang might have occurred. This dark Big Bang would involve the creation and distribution of dark matter throughout the universe, possibly giving rise to dark stars and other structures that we've yet to fully understand. However, in another recent groundbreaking research, scientists say that our universe existed before the Big Bang, and this could explain how dark matter came into existence. A recent study published in the Journal of Cosmology and Astroparticle Physics proposed that the universe may have had a secret life prior to the Big Bang. The research suggests that before the Big Bang, the universe went through a phase where it first contracted and then expanded. Imagine it like the universe shrinking down to an incredibly small, dense state, almost like compressing a spring. Then, just like a spring bouncing back, the universe bounced from this dense state and began expanding again, leading to the Big Bang and the universe we know today. During this phase of contraction, small differences in the density of space could have created tiny black holes. These early black holes, known as primordial black holes, may have survived the bounce and continued to exist as the universe expanded. Some scientists now think that these ancient black holes could be what we call dark matter. This theory tells us that our universe has a secret past before the Big Bang. However, the discovery of such objects beyond the Dark Age has now created a stir in the field of astronomy and will raise many more new questions. So far, everything we know about the universe beyond the Dark Ages is just theory. No one really knows what lies beyond it. Surprisingly, new images from the James Webb Telescope have revealed strange things exist beyond the Dark Ages. This discovery is baffling scientists, as it's unclear how these galaxies could have formed so early. These findings raise a serious question. Are we looking at an entirely different universe? Scientists around the world are now claiming that there is a possibility of a big change in the field of astronomy.